the hotly debated Southwest BRT, which will ultimately see its terminus in Ward 13, has become one of the key issues facing would-be councillors in a crowded race to take down a longtime incumbent. It's been a rocky road for the proposed 22-kilometer transitway that will connect the downtown core to southwest communities and such key institutions as Mount Royal University and Rocky View Hospital, before hitting the end of the line in the quiet, tree-lined neighborhood of Woodbine. For Scott Eden, president of the Wood Creek Community Association, the project, with an estimated price tag of $57 to $66 million, has residents in the mature community alarmed over a feared influx of commuters who could park their vehicles in Woodbine to take advantage of the transitway. I think the question of whether this is something the community wants or needs has never been fully answered, said Eden, who noted the city's consultation with the community often felt more like an edict. There's a big concern that the community could easily become a parking lot. The proposed terminus for the Southwest BRT would be right on the edge of Fish Creek Park at 24th Street and Wood Park Boulevard SW, which has some in the community concerned the already popular destination will become saturated. For 17 years, Diane Collier Guard has represented Ward 13. In Monday night's vote, she will face a crowded field of six challengers that includes a former Alberta MLA, a former leadership runner-up for the Wildrose Party, and another who had previously run for mayor of Lethbridge. The veteran councillor said city administration HASNT demonstrated the need for the project, particularly with the city facing a $170 million budget shortfall when a new council reconvenes to set its four-year budget. First and foremost the Southwest BRT needs to be put on ice with a new council, she said. There is no justification at all for this project to proceed until the new community of Providence is built out. Collier Guard ISNT alone among Ward 13 candidates expressing concerns about the plan. Once a two-term MLA with the Progressive Conservative Party, Art Johnston is taking a second stab at a municipal office after losing a Ward 12 race in 2001, and has his own concerns over the possibly impact of the Southwest BRT. When you look at the disruption and the cost, residents just don't feel that the ridership is there to justify it right now. And I agree, he said. In 2009, Mark Derholm was runner-up to Danielle Smith for leadership of the Wildrose Party, and is now hoping for a career in municipal politics. He noted that because the southwest portion of Calgary's Ring Road is well underway, it will provide transit relief needed for southwest communities, and that should be enough to scuttle the transit way for now. We need to stop the BRT for now. Once the ring road is in place, there might be a different strategy that works better, said Derholm, a chiropractic doctor. Adam Frisch, who has previously challenged Collier Guard for the Ward 13 seat, said the BRT plan remains flawed and needs to go back to the drawing board. The longtime community volunteer wants to see it put on hold until the ring road is completed and a new traffic study can be conducted. Obviously, this plan has not been to everyone's satisfaction, otherwise it still wouldn't be such a concern, he said. One of the solutions touted for a while is just to have residential parking permits for Woodbine, but that becomes more administrative and then we're just adding to the cost. But the transit line has a solid core of defenders in the race as well. Adam Bokler previously served two terms as vice president external for the Mount Royal University Students Association and believes there's a significant need to provide mass transit not only to the school, but to suburban commuters as well. I'm in favor of the BRT. I know students are thirsty to see some high-volume transit option to get to the university, he said. And when you look at Woodbine, it's a big black hole on the transit service map. Kaya Denny, a Nigerian immigrant who works as a water technician, agrees that there is a need for better transit connections into southwest neighborhoods. Ridership of public transit in Calgary is lower than before, so we need to look at the system itself to see if it needs additional or different routes, said Adeni, who lost his bid for mayor of Lethbridge as a university student in 2010. To me, the BRT sounds like a great idea. For Sherry Cecilis, a seniors advocate there could be a significant benefit of the BRT to members of the community desperate for better transit access. I believe it will be more advantageous to the communities, she said. We have to think about students and those who go downtown and can't afford parking. It will make it easier to commute, and access to the hospital will be important as well. Slogan at postmedia.com on Twitter at Sean Logan 403 Ward 13 Communities and Areas Belmont, Brittlewood, Canyon Meadows, Evergreen, Mill Rise, Shawnee Slopes, Shaughnessy, Silverado, Somerset, Woodbine, Woodlands, Yorkville Ward 13 Candidates Adam Bokler. Carrie Ann Sproul Post Media Adam Bokler if elected, what is the one issue confronting the city that must be resolved during your term Bokler, Rena while improving, Calgary's economy is still beleaguered.
What is the most important thing council needs to do to help it improve Beauclair? Get out and sell Calgary. We are the fifth most livable city in the world. Due to our economic slowdown, we have a young and educated workforce eager to get back to work and significant available office space. We have affordable housing in comparison to Vancouver and Toronto with no foreign buyers tax. Calgary is a great place for a business and its employees to set up shop and flourish. Amazon Anyone read the full profile here. Diane Collier-Gard is an incumbent councillor seeking the Ward 13 seat. Diane Marie Collier-Gard incumbent if elected, what is the one issue confronting the city that must be resolved during your term Collier-Gard? Economic recovery. We are an oil and gas-based industry base in Calgary, even though we have been diversified and continue to be more diversified, there is a significant lag effect that we will experience over the next two years, even though the economy is slowly recovering the same can't be said in running the city, while improving, Calgary's economy is still beleaguered. What is the most important thing council needs to do to help it improve Collier Cart? We need to be extremely careful about all the capital projects that are underway and those that have been approved to start. It deeply concerns me that even though the federal and provincial governments are injecting capital into these projects, they are incurring huge debt loads. There also is a significant operating cost in many cases with capital projects. I am open to cancelling capital projects that put the city's credit rating at risk and overextends us, while we are trying to recover. Read the full profile here. Mark Derholm is running for councillor in Ward 13. Mark Derholm if elected, what is the one issue? Confronting the city that must be resolved during your term or home, over taxation spending while improving, Calgary's economy is still beleaguered. What is the most important thing council needs to do to help it improve their home, remove overregulation and red tape to allow small business to flourish, read the full profile here. Adam Frisch is running for councillor in Ward 13. Adam W. Frisch if elected, what is the one issue confronting the city that must be resolved during your term Frisch, secondary suites. It's been going on far too long. While improving, Calgary's economy is still beleaguered. What is the most important thing council needs to do to help it improve fresh? Look for ways to help bolster small business rather than having them make up the economic shortfalls because office towers aren't being filled with big businesses. Read the full profile here. Kaya Denny, Sherry Sicellis and Art Johnston are also running for councillor in Ward 13 but did not respond to the questionnaire before the due date.